guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm back at one of my special locations that I reserve for super special cars and super special people like yourselves. I have the all new 2021 Lexus LC500. And as you can tell, it is that drop top convertible. But before we dive into this rolling piece of artwork, this concept car designed for the street, let's talk about what's going on here. So Lexus, that premium brand of Toyota has been around since 1989 and boy oh boy, are they doing some amazing things when it comes to style of a vehicle. Now, I remember when I first saw an LC500 concept vehicle, I thought for sure there wasn't a million years, there wasn't gonna happen in a million years that they would actually make a road going of version of it and keep it close to the way that it looked. But guess what? They did it and they did it in a big way with the coupe and now they just brought it tenfold with the convertible and i really think that there's not many other cars that you could just remove the top and even make it sexier because this nightfall mica colored lexus lc 500 really just has this perfect beautiful shape nice long hood five liter v8 power and a luxurious experience that's like second to none on the interior so let's go ahead let's find out is this the ultimate luxury GT sports car of sorts ever produced, especially in a drop top version. Like I was saying, the shape, it's like they took the concept car, they slapped on some official headlights and a place to put a license plate and you were good to go. At the front of the business, you're gonna have that triple LED beam headlight set up inside that triangular housing. And that's another thing that I liked about the LC500 ever since I first saw it it has a lot of design elements from the LFA supercar that Lexus once produced. But you're gonna have your LED daytime running lamps, turn singles, everything integrated nicely into that front fascia. I like a little bit of just that metallic dark gray separates it, especially with our particular beautiful nightfall metallic. Now, you are gonna have a functional side air curtain, simple flat black, nothing crazy. Everything else just has a wonderful flow, wonderful design. It has a, a truly Coke bottle-esque shape to it. Now, as we come across that, really that grill that separates Lexus from all the other luxury car brands, super size, super open. I like the cascading waterfall effect of that spindle grill design, especially the way the design elements transform themselves into that spindle shape as you get lower and you wrap it around. You have that Lexus logo, some nice bright, almost like a brushed aluminum finish and a little bit of chrome trim that's on the exterior portion, but I'm so glad they did not run it along the hood here. I think that would have been just a little too much, but you could see just the sheer width and how low the front end is of this LC500. Now, as we kind of coast up onto the hood, really low slung, long hood, beautiful body lines, everything just curving so subtle, but really adding to a big picture as we go towards the A pillars. And as we come around the bend, I hope you like big wheels because guess what? We're bringing it big on this Lexus LC500. You have that hand polished aluminum 20 inch wheel with a little bit of gloss black 20 one inch wheel. So it's a 21 inch wheel wrapped in Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires. So don't think that this is just a pretender and it's supposed to look like it's, it's fast. It's a quick car, but you're also gonna get some nice rubber all four corners to give you some stick, but also give you some great durability. You have massive six piston Brembo calipers with the Lexus script and two piece rotors. And those rotors are over 15 inches in diameter, bigger than any pizza that you ever shoved down your throat in your whole entire life. It's a 245 on the width up front, 40 series sidewall, and really just that concept car look with the wheels to match the beautiful bodywork. You can see all the, me the metallic flake, the metal flake in this beautiful nightfall mica paint scheme, even the the body lines, that Lexus shape to everything, comes into the door panels. You have a little bit of gloss black and a little bit of shiny bit with some turn singles built in to your side mirrors. Love the way that they took the color into the actual window frame, but then just went black across the center section. 
even the way that they work that low sill, how it extends out into this functional rear vent. So the air is coming down the side, gonna hit this vent beautifully. Nice flush mount on the door handles to get in. It's real simple, you just push there and then you open up the door handle. You can even see how they brought the Lexus logo on that little tiny portion that extends out. The touches are just add up to the big picture. I really love the Speedster style look. Now, I personally would be curious to see this car with no back seats. Take out the back seats, shorten it up a little bit and really give like a nice Speedster tonneau cover. But I am loving the beautiful cover that they have that kind of seals and hides everything. Remember, this is a cloth drop top. It's not a hard top drop top. So you get this beautiful cover to kind of make everything seamless and smooth. But I'm telling you, it's almost like the car was meant to be a convertible without even thinking about it. You have that flared fender look. And when we get to the rears, the rear tires are even wider than the front. So you're looking at still 21 inch wheel. And the great news is you're going to have that extra width because we're talking about 275s. This is a real wheel drive GT style sports car. Excellent lines coming off the back. You can see that nice slim and trim cover. Now the convertible does not have any kind of spoiler that is active arrow that pops up. They actually kind of take the shape of the trunk and curve it up to give it a little bit of downforce at speed. Really just art deco on the taillight design. You can see a little bit of aluminum style finish. Everything's going to be LED with that dark metallic gray LC 500 badge. And then other than that, super clean. You're going to have some brushed aluminum trim rings with functional exhaust hiding beneath, but it's super clean with the rear diffuser. Why don't we go ahead though, let's pop the hood of this LC500 convertible and see what's powering it. All right guys, we have that long hood popped open. You do have hydraulic hood struts. Underneath that hood is naturally aspirated V8 power. Now you do have a massive engine cover, but you know what? It's tasteful and they sculpted it just as nicely as the exterior. But underneath that cover with that Lexus logo is gonna be that naturally aspirated five liter V8 engine. If you are old school and go by displacement numbers, you're looking at 303 cubic inch V8, 471 horsepower, 398 pound feet of torque, zero to 60 is gonna be 4.7 seconds, quarter mile zooms by at 13.1, and the top speed is 168 miles an hour. The convertible weighs around 4,500 pounds. MPGs, 15 in the city, 25 on the highway and it's one of those things nice naturally aspirated v8 power you could see the additional bracing that they put at the front and closer to the firewall to stiffen up the front end because i promise you this is not just an all show and no kind of go kind of thing this vehicle really handles well lexus races in the gtd class of the imsa weathertech series and boy oh boy are they winning some races so it's nice to see this technology but i don't know about you if you're ready I'm definitely ready. Open up your ears because we're going to hear what this 5 liter V8 sounds like. guys we're inside the lc500 convertible this thing truly is a work of art outside and in i know you're at that point where you're like joe i really don't care about a spec sheet numbers they look good on paper but you don't really drive around on a number you don't ride on a number you don't get on a 4.0 0 to 60 and that's your number that you're riding on i'm liking this car it has the look how much is it Starting is 102,000. The way that ours is optioned is around $111,000. But let's see what you're getting for the money. To the door panels, absolute work of art. Look at the leather, look at the perforated center. If you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the color called? It's called toasted caramel. I'm getting a little hungry right now for a candy bar, but the silver trim is great. You have ambient lighting at night. Even the way they shape the door handle, 
and you have a nice oh crap handle built into the door panel for your passenger beautiful silver trim even the door pocket is a great size where you could get two six inch meatball subs from subway and put it in that door pocket but i'm telling you right now there's no way in hell you're eating in my lc500 convertible when you go from the door panel to the dash it doesn't stop you have this beautiful design built in to the dash area the leather the stitch work look at how they designed the ac vents even the button to release the glove box it's just so elegant the felt lining you could put your family jewels in here and they're not going to get scratched and then you close it so tasteful here's the other part of the old crap panel for your passenger so you you can hold on to it but i promise you they're going to want to hold on to it but look what you have in the center is that 10.3 inch infotainment system screen with your analog Lexus clock gives you the nice classy look. Is it a touch screen? No. You do have to use the Lexus trackpad and that's probably the Zonk, but that's really going to be the only Zonk in this vehicle. You do have a twist knob to go through your different drive modes, eco, comfort, normal, sport, sport plus, and custom. Look at the leather everywhere. This toasted caramel color is beautiful aluminum finish you have dual climate easy to get to your start stop button you have a cd player so breakout whoop there it is breakout cnc music factory there you go let's sweat put it in here let's go take this for a spin open this guy up you have one little cup holder but i promise you you're not bringing drinks into my lc500 but we do have that awesome mark levinson sound system but all the knobs i wish that there was a way for you to feel what i'm feeling Besides excitement, the knobs are just so elegant to use. The finishes, there's that Lexus trackpad. It is a little cumbersome at speed, but you'll get the hang of it, I promise. But it isn't my, is it my favorite? No, it isn't my favorite, but it is what it is. The stitch work is great. The shifter for that transmission, 10 speed automatic transmission, really, really nice with the leather, that aluminum finish. Let me go ahead and put it into reverse. So you're gonna go up and over. There's your backup camera. It's a little small, but you do have trajectory, which is nice. I wish it would fill up the whole 10.3 inch screen. Put it back in the park. And we keep working our way back towards the armrest. Check this out, this is pretty cool. So you hit the button here and then you lift that up. That allows you to put the top down and those rear quarter windows. And what I like is it's a nice meaty switch. You don't have to worry about breaking this in, like in other convertibles that are even more expensive than this one. That closes up and then you can slide this back. You have a nice little cubby here for some Skittles. You can see the rainbow, taste the rainbow, feel the rainbow, and then we could just slide that right on back. How about key fob? Here's your key fob, standard Lexus key fob. We do have a leather condom on it, which is nice. Protect it in your pocket and it matches. So you can take this with you and somebody say, hey, what's the interior of your LC500? Toasted caramel. Check it out. I'll even let you touch it. You could be like that. It's yours. Seats. Look at the stitch work. The way they did the headrest. You have venting on the back for cooling and heating. All of the elegant stitch work is just absolutely stunning. Of course, you're going to have full electric seats for the passenger and the driver. I mean, I'm six feet tall. Yes, we have the top down, but the sheer amount of room in here is amazing. Now, the back seats are kind of pointless. Ours is optioned with this wonderful wind buffeting screen, which really clears up this, the wind noise in here. So I'm not gonna be able to get in the back seat, nor would I want to, but it is quite small. I wish that there was a way to get an LC500 with just two seats. I think that would make it even better. But why don't you come over to the business end? I wanna show you behind this leather wrapped toasted caramel steering wheel. All right, guys, I wanna show you, before I show you off the business end, look how easy the top operation is. So you're just gonna hit that nice, beefy switch and then the orchestra of electric motors and relays get the top up nice and clean even with the top up i have plenty of headroom you have a nice little um digital readout to let you know when operation is done you get a chime but why don't you come on in and i'll show you the business end one thing i don't know if you noticed on the other side we have the optional carbon fiber sill plates here with the lexus name awesome carbon fiber down below you're going to have a massive deb pedal with aluminum brake pedal and throttle we have the toasted caramel floor mats all your seat controls 
easy to get to, and then boy oh boy, check out this steering wheel. Nice thickness, perforated leather, little bit of like gunmetal gray on it, but everything is real easy to get to, no fingerprints. You have metal paddles for that 10-speed automatic transmission. We do have a head-up display, which is easy to turn on and off, very nice right there. And then the dash is just a thing of beauty. So you're gonna have that seven inch TFT display and all the different readouts and then watch this. It actually moves. So the physical bezel and screen slides over and then you could get into different readouts, different functions and then slide it right back. Love that with this LC500. Even up top, they took a little bit of Alcantara and just put it above the gauge pod here. It's just the touches. You have three memory seat settings. Three. I wouldn't let anybody other than Lori drive my LC500, so we only need two. But if you have that extra somebody that you're willing to trust, which you're probably nuts, there, there are three memory seat settings. But let's go ahead. Let's check out the trunk because I'm dying to take this for an on-throttle drive. All right, guys. Time to get in the trunk. I'm going to hit the release on the key fob because I have my leather condom on. And then lift this up this is going to be the sore spot. Now, the good news is it doesn't matter if the top is up or down. You still have the same amount of room. But what are we looking at with the same amount of room? You're looking at a little over three cubic feet of space. So just enough to where you could go on a weekend getaway and have two carry-on bags back here, but don't expect to really load this thing up. But this is enough space. Listen, if you're on the fence about getting one and you need that something little extra, to convince your significant other, hey, I want, I sh we should get an LC500. This is perfect for getting the groceries. Absolutely perfect amount of space. None of the cans will roll around and everything will be just perfect. But talking about perfect, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go for the perfect on throttle spin in our LC500. All right, guys, we got the side glass up. It really creates a cocoon. Like you're a caterpillar about to turn into this beautiful butterfly just as beautiful as this LC500. And it really just creates this wonderful cocoon where you could actually have a conversation. You'll see while we're driving, you'll be able to hear me. I have the electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And guess what? We have it in manual shift mode. If you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, yeah! that glorious sound of that V8 engine, naturally aspirated engine, massive paddles, feel good every time you shift, whether it's upshift or downshift, and you have that 7,500 RPM redline. Love the white face tech and S in uh, Sport Plus mode. Let's slow it down again here. Second gear, if you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle. Those 275s keeping the traction down because remember we are rear wheel drive keeping the traction down nice light steering I would like a little bit more weight to the steering but overall such a wonderful driving experience with the top down feeling good I mean they really have created something special in this LC 500 that no other car I'm telling you really no other car really can replicate this. The interior, all the wonderful leather, like I was telling you, the electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. The only zonk is getting into the all the different features. Because they wanted to go for minimalistic, contemporary, nice clean finish, you gotta use that Lexus trackpad to get into the ventilated seats, the heated seats, the Lexus concierge service on your body. That's, that's really the toughest thing, and you really want to do it from a standstill. 
I do not advise doing it from uh, any type of motion standpoint, but the dash is well laid out, great visual reference points. You just see a little bit of the top of the hood. And like I said, I think just two seater would be perfect in this car, make it a little bit shorter, um, but not the fastest, but definitely one of the prettiest and one of the best sounding. All right, guys, from a standstill, on throttle, yeah! Nice pop from the exhaust. Brakes feel good. There we go. <laughs> Smooth downshifts. She does dance so nicely on her toes, and it really shows the work that they did in the engineering of the chassis, taking that knowledge from their racing programs and even bringing it into this GT sports car. There's really no way, no better way to enjoy a, a fun, twisty road if you want all the amenities. This has all the amenities, the seats, just cradle you like a newborn baby and everything is so well laid out and the people when they drive by they're like what is that it looks like a rolling concept car and then you could do the business business do the twisty parts what else could you ask for yeah it'd be nice if uh, they would have went through with an LCF I would have liked to have seen that and definitely driven that but right now it's shelved hopefully they'll take it off the shelf but we do have the coupe and this amazing new convertible to really enjoy. All right, guys, here we go. Second gear on throttle, just pulls. <laughs> nice. Here we go, watch this. sound I'm telling you nothing better than a naturally aspirated V8 top-down fun sexy body wonderful interior and then at the end of the day it's such a great car to cruise in take somebody special out go down to a nice location and just sit back drive the drive the speed limit for once and just enjoy the whole the aura that this thing produces it's it's amazing it is simply amazing does it have a pain in the butt track pad yeah like i mentioned sure this track pad is not the sweetest but boy oh boy everything else the 10 piece the 10 the 10 piece the 10 speed shifts like a hot knife through butter a 10 piece set of hot knives through butter only thing i can make this more perfect is have a twinkie on you all right guys one last time here we go Second gear, on throttle! Yeah! So smooth. Nice balanced. Love it! <laughs> coming through the wheel I would like just a little bit more weight to let me know what the front end is doing but the the back end really just stays planted I have the traction control off so that as we're kind of coming out of a turn I could square it off just a little bit but I tell you this car performs in a way where it just makes you feel good it may not turn the fastest lap times but not that's not what this car is about it's about the feeling the sensation 
all of the fine touches and boy oh boy it's a look where you're going to want to open up the lawn chair and just stare at it all day long but hopefully this has been a great review to give you an idea hey is the 2021 lc500 the convertible of choice two thumbs up hell yes but we're going to get back to our special location for this special car and i'll see you in a split second all right guys it's been another amazing day with this lexus lc500 convertible i'm definitely going to thank zach michelle josh the whole crew at lexus and toyota for allowing radies rides access to this rolling piece of art it just goes to show that lexus likes to do things a little bit differently i couldn't see any other brand creating an amazing gt sports car experience it looks like a supercar but boy oh boy it gives you such a unique driving experience it's not necessarily about being the fastest it's about being in that moment and the lc500 creates it for you every time you hit that engine start button but if it's cars like these special cars cars that are new new convertibles you want to keep seeing ready's rise leave a comment in the comment section if you are new to the channel and you're on your way out hit that subscribe button i promise you it's worthwhile come back for more if you are a subscriber thank you for being part of the ready's rise family if you want to help us keep making great content just for you in the channel click the link in the description get yourself some ready's rise merch got to give it up to my amazing wife lori queen of the camera out here in the florida sun we're fighting these crows off it's getting kind of crazy but she's falling in love with this lc500 as well thank you for your hard work show her some love in the comment section and just like always guys i'll see you on the next ride